So we went to go see our local hockey team play, and it got me to thinking while we were there, what are my favorite retro hockey games? So, as I never miss an opportunity to talk about my favorite sport, here we go. These are the top five retro hockey games of all time. And we're kicking things off with one of the greatest games ever made from Konami on the NES. When I think back to my time playing games as a kid, one of the ones that's most synonymous to me with the NES is Blades of Steel from Konami. This game does everything right. It perfectly captures the spirit of what ice hockey is. The rules are pretty much spot on, or as close as you're going to get in an 8-bit game. You have three forwards, two defensemen, and a goalie, unlike NES Ice Hockey, which does not follow that rule set. But this game here was all about the spectacle and all about the style. The visuals in the game were fantastic. The game blew my mind with the fact that it had a digitized voiceover, and it was just a ton of fun to play. There was also a really great fighting mechanic in the game that made it feel like a real 1980s hockey game. I love Blades of Steel so much. It's something that I go back to and play frequently, and it's truly one of those games on the NES that to me is just one of those games that makes the system as good as it is. I really love everything that this game does. I like that it incorporated the shootout before the NHL ever did. If you're left in a tie at the end of regulation, you go to a shootout, it's just a ton of fun. Now, there's only eight teams to choose from. You get Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, Edmonton, New York, Chicago, LA, and Minnesota. And yeah, I mean, it's not a full NHL compliment, and this doesn't have anything resembling an NHL license, but it's just a lovely game and a wonderful, nostalgic memory for me to play. But that's not the only game on the NES that I love that featured my favorite sport. We're going to one now from Nintendo itself. And while not as much of a classic representation of what ice hockey really is in real life like Blades of Steel, Nintendo's ice hockey is an arcade, over-the-top, fun game that I absolutely adore. Everyone knows ice hockey. You have the different sized players that you're able to choose from, each with their own different abilities, each with their own different skill sets in-game. The game is just a ton of fun to play. Now, in real life, every hockey team has six skaters on the ice. You have three forwards, two defensemen, and a goalie. But in this version of the game, you've only got five players, including the goaltender. Just like real hockey, you're going to be skating back and forth. You've got a very simple shooting mechanic, a very simple passing mechanic, and each of the players, like I mentioned, has their own skill set. You have a fast player that's good at the faceoff, a second player that's average in all qualities, and the third is slow and not good in the faceoff, but he lays a fantastic body check and has a great shooting strength. It's truly just a perfect representation of the game as far as what an arcade experience would be at home on your NES. This is such a wonderful experience, such a fantastic game, and it holds up incredibly well when compared to some other older sports games from Nintendo. Like, this is a significantly better experience than playing, say, baseball or tennis. It just works. It's just a ton of fun to play. I truly love ice hockey. And I think this is a game that a lot of people kind of overlook because this is essentially a black box NES release, but it does a lot more with very little that I think a lot of people need to give a chance to. We're going to kick it over now to the Famicom with a game that I didn't know about until this past year that absolutely blew my mind. All right, next up we have, and I am going to butcher translations here, so apologies to anyone that speaks Japanese fluently for what I am sure I'm about to murder here. Aiki Aiki Neketsu Hakibu Subete Koronde Darinato, which means go, go, Neketsu Hockey Club Slip and Slide Madness. This, y'all, is a Kunio Kun ice hockey game. It is just amazing. So, like, look, if you enjoy games like River City Ransom, if you enjoy games like Crash and the Boys Street Challenge, if you love Super Dodgeball, this game is so up your alley. It is absolutely over the top. The game does play fast and loose with the rules. There are no offsides. You can attack the other players and you can tackle them. So this is definitely an arcade experience. You can jump by pressing the A and B button at the same time, which does not happen in typical ice hockey. But I'm telling you right now, this game is so wonderful and just such a fantastic time. So happy that I found this one when I visited Warp Zone down in Columbus, Ohio. Side note, if you're in Columbus and you've never been, be sure to visit Warp Zone because it's absolutely magnificent. I haven't spent as much time with this as I really want to, but the time I have spent with it, this game absolutely blows my mind, and I am so saddened that we never got this over here in the States because 
it's really just such a lovely game and such a fantastic, fantastic experience. There's a ton of different teams that you're able to choose from. There's 11 of them on the cartridge, which is just really cool. There's even a female team, which I love because that's just, that's just cool, man. That's, that's really neat that that's in there. Next, we're going to hop over to the Genesis and take a look at an entry from Electronic Arts that is a little bit different than what they normally offered. Okay, I know for a lot of folks, Mutant League Hockey is not something that they adore, but I am going to tell you right now why, to me, this is one of the five best retro hockey games out there. Because it's just fun. And really, that, at the end of the day, is exactly what it needs to be. Is it a little bit fast and loose with the engine? Absolutely. Does it throw the rules of hockey out the window? Certainly so. But holy cow, is this game so much fun. You're able to choose from three different species of mutants, robots, undead skeletons, and trolls. The game has, shall we say, an interesting take on what the rules of hockey are. You can make the puck explode. You can bribe the referee to call more penalties against the other team. The rink will explode in certain places and put a hole in the ice, causing your players or the opposing players to fall through. It's just fantastic. There are hazards all over the ice. Players can die, like legit. Like, you can even bring in a demon to be your goalie, and it's just its just so much fun. Like, I understand that this is not a pure hockey game, and fans of just what hockey is and just the sport itself are probably going to look at this and be very annoyed with what this game does because it really does ignore every rule that hockey has. Although you can still fight and you can't go to the penalty box, but it's just fun. And at the end of the day, being fun is really what matters when I look at what I consider to be the best games out there. But now we're going to go purist. We're going back to the Genesis and we are looking at what is, in my opinion, the single greatest hockey game of all time. All right, and what else can I say about NHL 95 that I haven't said a million times over in the past? I understand that I sound a bit like a broken record when I talk about NHL 95, but here goes. If you don't know the channel, if you're not familiar with the channel, NHL 95 is my favorite video game of all time from the 16-bit generation. I have put legitimately thousands of hours into the game. Every time I play a new hockey game, I weigh it against my experiences playing NHL 95. The engine was perfect. The gameplay was spot on. The speed was fantastic. The character animations were wonderful. The music was excellent. The different game modes in the game were perfect. Everything landed with NHL 95, and it landed at a perfect 10. This is the greatest hockey game ever made. There is no question in my mind that this is the ultimate experience for anyone that is a fan of NHL hockey or hockey in general because I think it is that perfect and that pure of an experience. It is a fantastic simulation that still plays quick enough and fun enough that fans of arcade action are going to fall in love with this game and enjoy themselves playing it. I have had people that are not sports fans play this game and enjoy it. Is it for everybody? No. Is it for me? Absolutely. NHL 95 is a perfect 10 out of 10, the greatest hockey game Ever. But we're not done here, folks. We're going to hop over now to modern consoles and look at two retro-styled hockey games that are worth checking out. First up is a game that I tried out last year that seriously impressed me because it had the feel of the classic EA games with the style of just this grungy, filthy, gross 1970s slap shot esque hockey league. And that is Bush Hockey League. This game is absolutely magnificent. It leans heavily into just like 1970s tropes and styles, and it works. I just think it's a really fun game. Is it perfect? No, there's definitely some issues with it. There's definitely some gameplay lags and things like that, but I can look past that and really enjoy myself. Bush Hockey League is money. So is the next game we're checking out. One of my absolute favorite releases on the Nintendo Switch. This is Super Blood Hockey. Super Blood Hockey, to me, is... Let's take that kind of over-the-top arcade action of NES ice hockey, toss some modern game design aesthetic into it, and ramp up the overkill factor on it to like a 15 out of a 10, and that's what you get. This game is over-the-top and ridiculous. The hits are super violent. You can kill players on the ice. You can encourage your players to take stimulants in the locker room to make them perform better. We had a good night out at the barn tonight, folks. We got to see the K-Wings play the Toledo Walleye. We had a lot of fun. It was a good time, had by all. 
Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite retro hockey games are. Check out the video on screen right now if you want to see me rank every single hockey game on the Sega Genesis. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care and stay square.